This month, we have discussed the ankle and some differences and similarities in the extremities, as well as the importance of proper alignment. To wrap up our month, we will discuss a few yoga poses and movements that can help us maintain, or maybe improve, the motion in our ankles. Some people have a lot of restriction in their ankles, whether it's due to surgery, arthritis, or other things. Please do not engage into pain or encourage your students to do so. Listening to our bodies is a great indicator of what may be causing us more harm than good, and everyone's different and should respect that boundary for themselves. One way we can gently work on our range of motion in our ankles is to simply make circular motions at the joint. We can go through all movements that the ankle is able to make, and we can do this seated or standing. We can even make it more challenging and begin in mountain pose. Lift one leg and do some ankle circles. If you or one of your students is concerned about balance, be sure to offer a wall or chair for stability or practice in a seated or reclined position. For example, seated mountain pose. A yogi squat is a great way to lengthen the calves, which typically correlates to more flexibility at the ankle joint. Lunges also create a stretch in the calves and are usually pretty easy to incorporate into a yoga class. We can also practice in a reclined position and focus on engaging the calves, shin, and foot muscles as we lie on our back. We can point the toes as we come into plantar flexion, bring the toes back towards the shin into dorsiflexion, and make ankle circles. In my opinion, muscles stretch easier when they have been warmed up. So I find it nice to do this type of movement and then grab a yoga strap and go into reclined extended hand to big toe pose to get a nice stretch on those lower leg muscles. As always, balance is key and part of creating that balance is both strengthening and stretching.